pedestrians, it is only safe to cross this designated part of the road if you follow the road rules. Never attempt to cross before the indication is given and do not try to beat the oncoming traffic which has the green light. You have overhead bridges and overhead bridges are safe areas that are provided for pedestrians to cross. What we are seeing are pedestrians dashing across dual carriageways and then leaping over concrete medians. That is a no-no. We have had persons who have lost their lives doing that. And I am now appealing to pedestrians to do the right thing and access the overhead bridges that are provided in order to save your own life. Where there is no overhead bridge or crossing sign, use the pedestrian crossing with caution. Monitor the lights and cross when it's safe to do so. That is a dangerous practice and a 99.9% .9 chance of this happening. The amount of kinetic energy that comes on your body, that is going to determine whether or not you survive. There are several signs. Road signs are the language of the road. You have informational signs, directional signs, warning signs, and you have enforcement signs. Enforcement signs are erected upright are those that are drawn on the road surface. For example, you have stop sign, one-way sign, and it points in the direction where the one-way is. No U-turn, no parking, no right turn, no entry, a number of signs. If there is no sign that are erected upright, you will see yellow, yellow markings painted on curb wall that constitute no parking and you should not park in those areas. You park where white, white painting is drawn on those curb walls. Those are areas where parking is permitted. You have continuous white lines that are drawn on road surface. No motorist should drive to the right of a continuous white line. There are some other signs, especially like along Nutsford Boulevard, where the dual carriageway is, but there is any elevated median. You see something looking like a zebra crossing. Those crossing the picks, a median, but a median that is not elevated. If you disobey a stop sign, it carries a fine of $4,000 or six demerit points. If you disobey the traffic light, the red light, that too carries $4,000 a fine or six demerit points. On the approach of a traffic light, for example, half a tree road, Chelsea Avenue, by GIS there, there is no filter light. You are to obey the light and whenever you get green, you are to proceed. These lights are so configured that they allow for a pedestrian to cross. So when that red light is on, pedestrians are crossing. So that's why a filter light is not put in. When approaching a roundabout, you are to yield to the person to the right, right? Always allow for that person to go first. A similar thing with a yield sign, a giveaway sign. You are to yield to the person and allow that person to proceed. If you have to overtake, you are to do so if the way is clear, and once you complete that maneuver, you are to get back to the left lane and remain there. We have persons anticipating the light. You have those that are anticipating the green, and even before the green comes on, they are off. And you have others who are beating the amber in order to go by as well. And I should tell you this, red means you are to stop amber means you are to prepare to stop and green means you are to go if the way is clear and remember always wear your seatbelt